So I've been really, really in love with the star filter effect and I showed you guys how to do it on your phone very easily in another video. And then I got millions and millions of comments of saying, hey, I really, really want to do this in Photoshop. <laughs> it wasn't really millions of comments, it was this tiny little comment by Chris Lane, 1318. And there's several ways I've found out that you can do this effect. And disclaimer, there's probably even more ways that you can find, but this is how I figured it out. And I hope that from this basis I, that I'm giving you, you could probably do even more and more and hopefully there's like really really cool images you could do yeah what up baby what up shorty what up princess hello seeing your body god damn girl i'm impressed yeah. i'll show you guys how to do it now with uh these images so basically what you want to do is you want to go here want to unlock the layer and then you want to duplicate it so now you have two of these you have uh, two of these layers so if you disappear this Disappear this, it's the same thing. And then what you wanna do is basically go to here, go to levels, and then you wanna put down the shadows and the midtones until you only get the lights, right? You only, you're only having her, her shirt that's a little bit lit. Uh, these background lights that are lit. So basically only the highlights remain. And then what you wanna do is select both of them and then you merge layers. All right, so now both of these layers are here. Then you wanna take those merged layers and duplicate them again, right? Wait, actually, first you wanna put screen for this option. Wanna put screen, there we go, right? So now basically you removed all the shadows and only the highlights remain. So now you're only affecting the highlights. And then you go to filters, blur, and then you go to motion blur, depending on how much of an effect you want. So I kind of like it very dramatic because I'm only getting the lights. I'm negative 45, and then that's good. And then you do the same thing with the other one, filter, blur, motion blur. And then instead of negative 45, you put 45. And so, and so now you got, if you zoom in, you have basically the light going in, in this, this pattern, right? Perfect. And then if you want to add an, a new one, you just got to like play with the angles a little bit if you ever gone and studied uh, angles and stuff. So I'm actually going to undo one of the motion blurs, duplicate the layer again, right? Filter, blur, motion blur, 45, bring it back. And now you have a third one that you could do whatever you want with it. I'm going to even do like a more. So basically you go here, and then you just play with angles. If you know angles a little bit, motion blur, you could do a 90. And you could put more if you want. So now you have like a, a three, uh, six point star filter. Wait, one, two, one, two. All right, math is hard. So three times two, six. So six star filter. And then you could take even the other one and the, the, the. and you could do negative 90 and i don't even know how many you have there but you get the point right you you can play with it how much you want you could play with the shadows more of the shadows and stuff you could play more of her face like more of her face and that's basically how you do it you could play with it even more and so what you can do is you make a new layer right and then you select brush and then normally when you select brush, you're gonna be in one of these, right? So it's like, oh, like, there we go. It doesn't look anything like a star filter you're gonna say, and then it's like, it's like madness, is it's exactly what you wanted. But no, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down with the brush and you're gonna go all the way down until you find legacy brushes, right? And maybe this, this is not uh, turned on, but um, try to turn it on, I don't know how, what to tell you. But then you go here, and then you go to crosshatch four, so this one. And probably these would work too, but the one I've been using is crosshatch four. All right, this one wouldn't work. <laughs> All right, so basically select crosshatch four, and now you have a brush, right? And you're gonna have a brush that's maybe black. And then you just put it on, it's like, wow, that's, that's great. But no, what you wanna do is you wanna, at least what I would recommend is find a color that's already there, 
right? I'm going to select this red. And with, with I, you select color. So I, then press the color you want, and then press B again for the brush. And then you literally just put it on there, right? I would move it a little bit there. Mm -mm. And then you select it. And you could turn it however you want it. Wait. And then you could just turn it. And so with that way, you could just draw on whatever uh, star filter you want. So you could just start playing around, make new layers of it, and then just select maybe this color blue. And then you just put it here. It's like, wow, there's more of them. You could just keep playing around, add in wherever you think it look cool. And yeah, that's basically how you can do it a little bit more manually. All right, so you can keep doing that and then you can play with it with however much you want. I A cool thing I do is you can double click it and then you can go to outer, outer glow, which is right here. And then you select a color that complements it a little bit. So th these ones were blue. So you can kind of put like a, a bluish here all right, so that looks pretty cool. Looks pretty natural. And you could put the opacity a little bit down if you want, so it looks more natural. And another way to make it look less fabricated is Gaussian Blur. And then just put it wherever you want. Six. Yeah, just makes it look way more natural. So that's kind of what you want. Uh, let's try that with this red one too. Filter Blur, Gaussian Blur. Yeah. So I would say it looks pretty natural. Aside from uh, this part of her shirt, which just looks weird to me. So what you could do, unless you like it, I don't know, it's up to you. So what you could do is you could group all these, Control G, you group it, and you put an adjustment layer. Brush, and this time you don't want the crash hedge for. Uh, just select any, really, I don't, it doesn't really matter. And then you just, an adjustment layer, you just paint it out. Now you no longer have her shirt duplicating, you just have the background duplicating. And whatever you want to remove, you can just remove. But um, yeah, that's basically what how you do a star filter effect in uh, Photoshop. I'll show you guys again, just so it cements it. Here's another image, this is Caroline. Uh, by the way, this is my sister, and this is her friend Caroline. Caroline or Caroline? Caroline, 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 Caroline. I'm gonna say both, and then I'm gonna edit it out whichever is the wrong option. But same thing, you go here, you unlock the layer, duplicate it, put it up. Then you go here, levels, and turn it down to whatever you wanna amplify, whatever you wanna do the star filter effect to. So this time I'll show you guys a little bit of, of skin. So you could do that, and then you can select a little bit more, smoothing, whatever you play with. So basically whatever it's not black is what's gonna be affected. So right now, her face, her glasses, this, um, these lights over here are all that's gonna be affected. I really want these greens to also be affected. But, um, yeah, all right, so that's, that's good to me. I'm gonna mask out her face. There's a little bit too much of her face. Uh, so basically, go here again, merge layers, then you go screen. And you duplicate it however many times you want the star filter effect to be applied to. So you can go here, filter, blur. Oh no, not Gaussian blur, my bad. Filter, blur, then motion blur. And you want to put negative 45. And then for distance, put whatever, um, how much of the effect you really want on it. So I kind of want it very heavily just because I like it. Okay, so 473, it's good for me. Then uh, go to the next layer, filter blur, motion blur again. And instead of negative 45, you do the opposite, so 45. Cool, okay. And for this one, you just select motion blur and you can put 90 and now that's a really heavy star filter <laughs> that's a really really heavy star filter 
and yeah if you don't want it this heavy control G capacity put it down however you want and I don't want it that much on her face so I'm going to do adjustment layer uh, then I'm going to select for black opacity I'm going to put it down just so I don't remove all of it but just a little bit of it and then I can just pass through her face then I would pass through her eyes a little bit more and yeah so this is the before this is the after all if you want to add in that extra effect you can go to um, brush and then cross hatch 4 again select the brush and then select it with eye you can select the color uh, blue wherever you want if you want this yellow right here you can select that press that and then you have that here Another trick with the brush that you could do for the cross hatch 4 brush is whatever uh, direction you want it, you could just move it like this way. So if you want it completely still, just put it here. And then you can select with I. Again, you select the color, yellow, or whatever that color is. And then you just do it here. And then if you want the green, again, the same, same thing. And then you can just keep doing that to your heart's content. Add in more star filters however you want them, you know. If you wanna just go crazy and uh, add a bunch of them, then be my guest. And yeah, if you wanna delete part of it, again, adjust some layer, brush, go back to normal brush. Oh, go back to a normal brush, one of these. Uh, and you select black. And you could delete whatever you want, right? But, or also you can just go opacity, turn it down, but you don't want it on her face, so just delete that. So yeah, for some reason, uh, with these brushes, the bigger you make them, the more it's separated. So you can't really make it that big, but you can't, I guess what you can do, is you could probably do it like this, and then you could just expand it. Would that work? All right, nope. Yeah, for some reason with these brushes, uh, the, the bigger you make them, uh, the more separated they are. So you could probably just fix that by doing a, a filter. Oh, wait, actually, I'm doing this in this layer. So you could probably just fix that, uh, that distortion by going to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. Just, yeah. So that pretty much fixes them. So yeah, that's how you get the star filter effect, uh, basically free. Uh, you just need Photoshop, I guess you need to pay for Photoshop. I also did a, a video on how to do it with your phone. That'll be over here uh, for free, basically for free, uh, completely for free. Photoshop costs, I'm not sure, maybe like five, uh, $10 a month. So it's a little bit costly if you don't have that money. If you guys like the video, subscribe. If you guys didn't like the video, uh, subscribe and uh, like the video. And yeah, see you guys next week on Saturdays. More, but uh, basically, Ah!